Welcome back everyone to the Collector Channel. Today we'll be opening up some more wax packs from this 1981 Topps football box. Um, this is the set 1981 Topps that has the Joe Montana rookie card. I've opened up a bunch of packs so far as you can see here. I still have many to go, but we have not opened up a Joe Montana rookie card yet. There's also a ton of other really good rookie cards in this set. Um, so Joe Montana rookie card, PSA 9 goes for about $575 the SMR value and the SMR is suggested market rate so that's roughly what they've been selling for so PSA 9 mint $575 a gem mint 10 is around $10,000 there's also Dan Hampton rookie uh, PSA 9 goes for $40 PSA 10 SMR 750 um, there's Dwight Clark rookie and the Dwight Clark rookie is uh, $25 for a PSA 9 and PSA 10 Gem Mint 10, $475. So pretty good price for that since he is not a Hall of Famer. But 81, 82, the 49ers did go to the Super Bowl and win it. So that's probably why there's a premium on that card. And there's also Art Monk, Crookie, Callan Winslow, Billy Sims, and Mark Gassineau. So I thought I'd name those off just so we know kind of who we're looking for. Um, the value on the, the rookies I listed, really not a whole lot of value on those uh, for a graded 10 except the Joe Montana rookie. And the Dan Hampton rookie being $750 for a graded 10, that's a valuable card. So another thing I thought was interesting, I don't know if you go on uh, or follow PSA at all, the card grading company, but they had the Mount Rushmore uh, football cards, so they chose the four top most influential uh, biggest football cards, uh, not necessarily the most valuable. And they chose Bronco Nagurski, the 1935 Bronco Nagurski card, um, National Chickle or Chico, however you pronounce that. There's also a 1957 Topps Johnny Unitas on there, uh, 1958 Topps Jim Brown, and then also the 65 Topps Joe Namath. So, what do you think about that? Do you think the Montana rookie card should be one of the four? I kind of think it should be. Um, they don't have any 70s or 80s rookie cards on that Mount Rushmore. Uh, I know the cards I mentioned the four are really cool cards, but I still think Montana deserves uh, a place on there. All right, so we've gotten pretty far into this video, and I'm just opening the first pack. We have Jim Hart, Ron Johnson, Jim Haslett, Al Baker, Reggie McKenzie, Herman Weaver, Don Hasselbeck, Kevin Long, Ray Oldham, Doug Deacon, I don't know if I'm pronouncing all these right, but Lewis Wright, Kenny King, that's a cool card, the record breaker. I like those 1980 uh, record breaker cards, those look really cool. Carlos Carson, Reese McCall, and Gerald Thomas. This is the one with the gum on the back. Luckily the gum comes off pretty easy on here. So I'll set those aside. We'll get going with our next pack. So in this set there's 528 cards. Um, what is it, like 10 cards per pack? And then we have 36 packs? I think it's 10 cards per pack roughly. I could be wrong, we should probably count those. Uh, might be a little bit more, but either way I don't believe there's the entire set in one box. Um, but we'll find that out though, because I don't think I've ever counted all the cards in a pack. I haven't really paid attention to that. And besides rookie cards in this set, there's other awesome uh, Hall of Fame cards. Uh, Walter Payton, Jack Lambert, Terry Bradshaw, Ozzy Newsome, John Stallworth, And the Payton actually has some pretty good value. Surprisingly, the Terry Bradshaw doesn't. So Walter Payton suggested market rate uh, SMR is uh, $550 for a PSA 10. And a Terry Bradshaw, PSA 10, only $80. So I'm not sure why that is. Maybe the population report. Uh, maybe there's a lot of 10s. I, I guess I don't know. Okay, so moving on to opening up these packs here. 
Okay, so this is NFL passing leaders. Um, set that aside. We have Brian Kelly, Jerry Eckwood. Oh, this is a cool Tony Dorsett. So this is Super Action Tops Tony Dorsett. That's a neat card. I'll set that aside. Oh, Jim Plunkett. That's another neat card. Ahmad Rashad. The Vikings. I'll put that one aside. That's another super action card. Dave Logan. Gary Barbaro. Harold Jackson. Henry Marshall. Ron Jaworski. Butch Johnson. Leonard Thompson. And Joe Cribbs. We'll set these aside. Let's get to our third pack now. All right, so on to our third pack. And yeah, some of the other Hall of Famers get back to that. Tony Dorsett, Franco Harris, Jack Ham, um, Steve Largent, I'm trying to think of who else, James Lost, Lofton, Ken Stabler, Joe Green. So a lot of Hall of Famers. And again, yeah, 528 cards in this complete set. And a box of these go for, if they're authenticated by Baseball Card Exchange, $900 to $1,200 for a box. We'll just take the gum card out here. Oh, that's a cool gum card. It has the Tony Dorsett on there. Harvey Martin, Tony Hill, and a couple others. So that's the Cowboys 1980 Team Leaders. I'll set that aside. Pull off the gum later. And the checklist. I see an Archie Manning coming up. So here's the checklist. Archie Manning, Vikings team leaders, that's cool. Ted Brown, Madershad, Turner, and Sutherland. Nat Moore, John Jefferson, record breaker card. Horace Ivory, Herman Edwards, Jay Saldi. Uh, all Pro Mike Webster, that looks cool. I like those All Pro cards too. Uh, Billy Sims, All Pro. That's a cool card. So we'll set the uh, Billy Sims over here because that's a rookie of Billy Sims. Uh, I'll put that over there. Okay, so getting a few cool cards here so far. Uh, Billy Sims in a PSA 10 would be $125, PSA 9 is $10. So if it gets a 9, really, it's not sure if it's really worth grading because the grading fees alone is probably at least that, maybe even more. So I think when people send cards in to get graded, I think they're obviously going for the highest grade, maybe a, a PSA 10, and sometimes it doesn't turn out that way, and then uh, they can lose money, so I have to be careful on what you decide to have graded and what not to. So we have pretty good odds of getting a Joe Montana rookie. We sure do. Uh, 49ers card. So in this Super Bowl, 81-82, 49ers and the Bengals. 49ers won. Junior Miller. Doug Wilkerson. Nick Lowry. He was good. I think this is a rookie card too. I don't have it on my rookie card checklist, but I'm pretty sure this was his rookie card. So I'll put that one over there. Matt Blair. Billy Campfield. Rick Kane. Reggie McKenzie. And another kicker. Andy Johnson. Ted Brown. Kevin Long. So I'm, I was thinking about counting the cards as I'm looking through them, but I'm saying the names, looking for a bunch of different Hall of Famers and rookies, so 
hard to multitask in that way. So how many cards are in a pack for everyone watching this video? Do you know the exact amount? And there's 36 packs, I believe, in this box, so we can just multiply that and figure out how many cards we get in an entire box. That would show us the odds of what it would be to get a Joe Montana rookie card. I really feel we'll get a Montana rookie card. I, I just have this feeling. Um, to me, this box looks like it's real, authentic, never been opened or tampered with. Oh, there's a James Lofton card. So, James Lofton, Hall of Famer. This is a super action card of his. Eddie Payton. Oh, there we go. There's another star card there. Joe Theismann, yeah. Oh, nice. Walter Payton. Cool. Here, let me set this aside. Okay, Walter Payton. That's a nice card. Super action, Walter Payton. Card number 302. Fairly nice condition. Nice corner. Oh, that corner's a little bit beat up. Top left has some printing spots, but still a cool card. Preston Pearson. Kenny King. Charlie Waters. Clarence Williams. Randy Logan. Bryant. Coolin Bryant. Alright, so no Montana rookie yet. Let's keep going here. I'm glad some of you mentioned for me to pull the Dan Hampton rookie. I passed through it. I think it was like my first or second video of opening these. Um, I'll have to go back and check out the condition of that card because uh, PSA 10, uh, $750. 49ers and Bears cards of those days, they have some good value. I keep thinking like this is the pack that's going to have the Montana rookie. I just keep thinking that. And one of these days, you know, I, I think we'll get it. Now the question is, wouldn't it be better value just going out and buying the Montana rookie card? It for sure would be. Uh, John Jefferson. But the thing is... Um, it, this is all about the experience. Leroy Solomon, that's a cool card. This is all about the experience of opening an iconic card on camera, opening it fresh from the pack, seeing, having to see the light of day for the first time since it was printed. And just that, that whole experience, I think that would be really cool. Drew Pearson. Boy Bacon, Jerry Robinson, another All Pro, Glenn Edwards, and David Hill. All right, no Montana rookie card. I'm still, I still have hope that we're gonna get one. I still do. Can't give up that hope. And if I don't get one in this box, it's gonna be tempting to get another 81 Tops football box. I probably could have purchased like. 10 or 15 plus Montana rookie cards, but again, the experience is, is priceless. Well, I guess there would be a price on the experience, but um, let's see here. Have to be careful with the condition on these here. Okay, so Roland Harper, let me get these organized a little bit better here. That way if I get the Montana rookie, we can be a little bit more surprised. Marty Lyons, Steve Freeman, Lester Hayes, Fred Dean, William Andrews, Alan Page, all pro. That's a neat card. Set that aside. Don Warren, James Lofton, all pro. That's another nice card. I'll set this James Lofton aside. Hall of Fame card. Mike Barber. Archie Manning, cool. So I'll put maybe get a Peyton and uh, Eli Manning. Put those all together. Chris Barr and Al Richardson. Not sure how to pronounce his name, but 
Yeah, Al Richardson. Anyway, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, didn't get the Montana rookie card today, but had a ton of fun. It was nice uh, going through some of the stars, rookie cards, Hall of Famers, and so on, and, and looking for those. I'll get the cards I pulled aside in a case, and actually, for a recap, someone, several of you have been asking for me to recap some of the cards that I put aside. These are just some of them. I'm going to go through the stack again, see if I missed anything. I, I look at comments too. Some of you remind me that, hey, you missed a cool card, and then I go back and put it in a case. Um, no big ticket cards here, but just some fun Hall of Famers, stars, or interesting cards to put aside. Alright, well thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.